Yo, I'm Jeff. Welcome to Mini Garage. Today is kind of a mess. I had all this video that uh, we shot rebuilding this Weber carburetor. Um, I got a kit and and put it all back together for the Mazda, but somewhere in editing we lost all the audio, well, half the audio, so I have like half the episode. So we're not gonna do that today. Um, I really appreciate John Hill from Field Films coming all the way down here and spending the whole day with us trying to get this stuff worked out, but it just didn't happen. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do some pencil and paper drills, kind of bang some stuff out real quick. Um, I saw on Facebook the other day one of the other one of the other channels was looking for tips and tricks on how to wire some switches. So I'm gonna throw it down. You know, I had, I uh, a few months ago started wiring the switches for the Mazda because I use uh, toggle switches and not a switch box. And a couple of our fans were like, you need to tell us how to do that. So today we're gonna, we're gonna go over that. So uh, let's jump in. So how I go about doing this is I use uh, a toggle switch that's momentary, so it's off when it's in the middle, on one way, off, on, so they're momentary switches. And they have a, a single, it's called uh, double throw, double throw, Row switch and so you can get a single pole or a double pole or a quad pole and what a single pole is we have your on on and it would have something in the middle so your power would go in the middle and then this would be um, and the way these work is there's a wire goes on the top and a wire goes on the bottom. So if you have a if you have a valve So say your down valve Would go up here and your up valve would go here so even though So when you throw the switch up it puts power to this one if you throw the switch down it puts power to this one so if you had a double throw double two pole you would have one more set of poles and then you would run a jumper wire from the positive to positive so you still have power coming in here and then you would jump it to here then you'd have your other down wire come here so say this is the back and this is blue and this is green for the back and this is yellow for the front and brown for the front so you're gonna have the upside this would be up this would be up this would be down this would be down and this will be left right right left doesn't matter I mean and they're opposite but it doesn't matter so that would get the whole and we'll say this is the rear, rear down. Now to split those and do each corner, you'd go back to your single pole switch and you would run this green here, this yellow here, and then jumper the power. And then if you wanted to, and say this is the, the right side, and then this is the left. We would add another single pole double throw switch and we would go blue brown and we would jumper the red and this is going to be up down power okay so and then it would be the same thing if this is the rear we would mimic this to the front it would be the same exact thing 
using different color wires. Then, for a pancake or a seesaw or a three wheel, so if you go to a, to a 10 switch box, you could get where a seesaw would be the back down, the front up, or front down, back up, or all up, all down. And you would need a four pole switch for that. That gets one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then again, you'd have power all down the middle. Your power would come in from here or wherever, and it would jumper across all four of those poles. Then, just like this, you would go, these are all the up, comes in the bottom, all the down goes in the top, and you would wire individually those colors. So like we said before, the green, blue, and then yellow, brown, and then whatever colors for your, your front that you did, and this, this is the rear. So we'd say pink, orange, white, and I don't know, uh, I don't know, pick a color. Black with a white stripe. With stripe. Okay. So those are all your ups. These are all your downs. And your power runs across. So just like that, if you wanted to do that's for a that's for a pancake that just flat flat down and flat up. If you wanted to do a seesaw, you'd have the same type of switch, the four pole double throw momentary switch with your power coming down the center. You jumper all those with your power to your plus. And then on this one, if you wanted the seesaw, you'd go the same thing with green and blue for the front and yellow and brown for the back but on this one you would flip these around because you want when you push the button up you want the the rear to go up and the front to go down. So we're gonna take the front ones and make them go down. So now our, our down wire at the same time, by flipping the switch up, we want the front to go down. So we would put our blue and pink wire here and our brown, oh no, not brown, white and black with a white stripe. So that would take this and flip these two so that the, the back goes up, the front comes down when you run the switch the other way. And then in turn, when you went the other way, it would flip it and the, the back would go up and the front, or the, the back would go down, the front would go up. So that's how the, the, the seesaw works. But that's just a quick run through of how to wire those switches. If you have any questions about this stuff, um, message me on Facebook or Instagram and I can kind of talk you through it and or talk you more about it and this is just like I said quick run through because I didn't have anything else to post today so there it is and uh, for the till next time mini garage I'm out oh the one last thing you can buy a pre-wired switch box and it comes with seven switches ABS makes them um, I know some of the other you know, companies make them, but this is just for a, a simple toggle switch. And those wired switch boxes come wired with the colors already pre 
installed and they'll go to any switch box or any any manifold or valve system that you're running um, and make sure that you keep all those individualized all the same color when you wire them so that there's no confusion and I like like I said to run red down the center and I'd like to run a extra switch so it's like you switch power or whatever so that you can't bump it when you don't want to so for now like I said mini garage catch you next week Hey, I'm Ron, and that was Mini Garage. Before you take off, don't forget to hit up the website, hammerweekendwear.com, where we have hats like these, banners like those, stickers, and all the swag you need to support our show. Thanks for tuning in.